the shortest route, let's say. Now, if you if you only want to visit, say, you only have uh, two customers, there are only two ways for him to visit them and get back to his uh, house. Okay, he can either visit the uh, first uh, customer A and then B and go back to his house, or do the opposite, go like this. If, uh, so if you have uh, just two customers, it, uh, you have two different ways to follow this uh, uh, route, let's say. If you have uh, now uh, three customers, <laughs> okay. customers, there are actually six different ways for uh, the traveling salesman to visit those customers and go back here uh, and for example he can visit this is a, a route uh, another possible way to do it is this say okay and so on there are six uh, different ways to do it if you have in general n uh, n different uh, customers mm -hmm. there are n uh, factorial ways to solve this problem so, as uh, you can see, the time that is required uh, increases uh, very much. Uh, if you add uh, one more customer to the problem, then the time is increased uh, uh, by a factor of n. So, if you have uh, n customers and then you want to solve the n plus 1 case, the time required is this. So, it's the previous one multiplied by n plus 1. So this uh, thing can get out of hand after uh, some number of uh, customers. And uh, so if you say, excuse me a little bit, 30 or 40 different customers, it might, you might need centuries to solve this problem by enumerating all the different solutions. So you might want to use a heuristic algorithm that will not give you the optimal solution, but a near optimal solution in a, a fraction of the time required for a, an exact optimization uh, process. Another uh, reason that you might uh, want to use a heuristic algorithm is when uh, an exact optimization algorithm fails to find the exact optimal solution. So I'll give you <coughs> another example. Say we have a, a function to optimize of two varieties. Okay. And this is the domain of the function. Like this. So we want to find the optimal uh, the meaning, <coughs> for example, value of f inside uh, this domain here. So, local search algorithms uh, are another uh, very popular uh, class of uh, exact optimization algorithms that mainly work uh, as follows. You start from a random initial point, okay. you calculate the value of the function there, say we have, this is x0, okay. x0 equals 5. Then you try to find an improving direction uh, inside the neighborhood of the initial point. Uh, that actually means that you want to find uh, some uh, point in, in here uh, that has a better objective uh, function value, f, than... Excuse me. Uh, than uh, the initial point. After you find this uh, improving direction, uh, you also define a step and uh, then you find, uh, say, a second point. The step determines the exact uh, point to stop uh, on this direction. And that is the, the second, uh, say, uh, solution that uh, you're going to calculate, which uh, will have a better objective uh, function value than the previous one, say for example 3. 
Okay, then you do it again. You also find again in an improving direction and the step. Okay, and you go to another uh, point that will also be better. Okay, say for example this. This 1.5. Now the problem uh, is that uh, if you have an, a local optimum, say this is a local optimum. And uh, in the, during the algorithm, you at some time have this uh, jump to this point. There, uh, there is no, uh, no single point that improves the objective value in the neighborhood of the local optimum, because it's a local optimum. So you cannot find an improving direction. So you'll forever be stuck to this local optimum. Okay. So if you have here... Uh, the global optimum, say for this, for example, this is, uh, say, 3, is, for example, 2, and it's a local optimum. And this is the global optimum, where f uh, x uh, star is 0. And you are here. You can never uh, escape from this point and uh, go to the global optimum. Okay. So in this case, if you use a heuristic algorithm, you might find a near optimal solution that might be the global optimum, or might be another local optimum, or might be a solution that is better than uh, this one that has an objective uh, function value that is uh, less than two. Well, uh, if you use the exact, the exact optimization algorithm, you'll get stuck to a local uh, 